Hello guys, welcome to Ravi Novet. This video video tutorial on total productive maintenance that is TPM. So in this video we are going to learn about total productive maintenance. From starting from this main goal of the company, we'll reach, we'll see all the aspects of total productive maintenance. That why do we use TPM? What are the benefits of TPM? So we'll be going through all the channels. So at last we'll be seeing the the basic funda behind the total productive maintenance. The what are the pillars of TPM? So we'll be looking also that. So we are starting with our very first slide. The main goal of any company. Look, we have any company, any organization. So the ultimate goal of that company, of any of the company, is the number one is high production. That everyone wants that uh, the production should be higher. Along with the good quality, with less rejections, and the losses should be minimum. So ultimately, all these, all the, all the, all the combination of these four will give us the maximum output in terms of cost and everything. So the question arises is that how can we do this? So this is the very big question: that how how can we do this? How can we control all these parameters? So we are going to going for the second slide that is you can see a machine uh, a, a worker is work, work working on its machine with lots of raw material is there and there is uh, oil is spilling from its machine and there are chips from this machine so he still he does not know about that what is the what is the problem in its machine so it means he still does not know that what is the problem with this machine so awareness is required that i want to know about my parts of the machine i want to know the problem along with them with my machine and okay we'll now go for the third slide that is total productive maintenance the solution for that problem that we discussed in the very first slide is the for the for the high production what we need to do we need continuous running machine so as if a machine is running for continuous for 24 hours so it will uh, it will be producing number of parts the maximum number of parts it can, it can produce okay the good quality we know that only perfect machine can produce perfect quality so to maintain the good quality our machine should be perfect okay we have discussed till now two points that is high production then high production can be increased by continuous running machine and the good quality can be maintained by only perfect machine so the third point is less rejections we can the rejection can be minimized by producing good quality and standardization should be there suppose if we are having finished good products and they are kept uh, kept on a trolley and the trolley uh, is not very that much as per standard that it should be and it go the the finished good product got scratch and all the quality become very down so it got and uh, it got any of the defect quality defect so we need to have some standardization should be there and to minimize losses to minimize losses we need continuous improvement suppose if we are having any kind of loss we need to analyze that uh, why why the uh, loss has occurred so we need to improve that in make some standard on that so that that problem doesn't come for the second time so the ultimate solution for this problem is why, why this problem arise to reach goals what are the what are the uh, they say we can say that problems which arise to reach goals the first one is emergency and unscheduled breakdown of machine so this is ultimately going to reduce my production that machine is not running for the 24 hours it is having unscheduled and emergency breakdown of machine and the second is that unskilled workers if i am having unskilled workers they are going to produce less quality less quality bad quality products so this is the problem the third one is poor management of keeping raw material and finished goods we discussed it earlier that the management should be very proper for keeping raw material and finished goods and all employee employment it means that the all employee involvement means that everyone should be in the in the in the part of improving the quality or improving the production from top level to bottom level management everyone should be there it in it it includes all involvement so the then 
what it all it leads to so if we are talking about many of the many of the things like production increase cost reduction and good quality product so what it leads to it leads to OEE which is overall equipment efficiency so we, what we want to do we want to increase the production we want to increase the good quality we, we, we want to minimize the uh, losses so it reduces it increases the OEE and the problem all the problems it reduces OEE what is OEE overall equipment efficiency it is the it is the product of av availability of machine it and performance of the machine and quality of quality of the product so the solution for increasing overall equipment efficiency is total productive maintenance and now the question arises that what is total productive maintenance so we started from the problems and we are here up to we are now at uh, the we have we have the solution for all the problems that what it can lead to problems can lead to this and this so we are now on the total productive maintenance what is total productive maintenance we are now going to look on it what is TPM TPM is basically considered as the medical science of machines as we discussed earlier TPM is a maintenance program which involves a newly defined concept for maintaining plant and equipments ultimate goal is, goal is to increase production rate customer satisfaction and employee morale we want to keep hold on emergency and unscheduled maintenance to, for to minimum we discussed it earlier that we want to uh, we want to increase the production rate by by keeping hold on emergency and unscheduled maintenance uh, and our un ultimate goal is to increase production rate we discussed this earlier so why do we need tpm again the same question arises uh, we want to reduce the wastage we want good quality products we want to reduce the cost to increase productivity along with production yes ultimately what we want we want to increase production but to increase production our productivity should not go less okay suppose if i am making 100 product products by the help of uh, three manpower in one hour so if i want to reduce the time i'll say that i will reduce the time by half an hour and i will increase the manpower and suppose i i take uh, two manpower two or three three manpower so i will be having i will be increasing my manpower and reducing the time so it will ultimately going to give me nothing so we need to take care of our productivity as well as our production rate less rejection in finished good we want to reduce the rejection in finished good so there are basically seven pillars of TPM which includes the basic the base pa base of the pillar of TPM is like a house we have a base we have base and then we have uh, walls and pillars are there so our basement for the TPM total productive maintenance is 5s so we'll be discussing 5s in all, all the pillars in next video so simply these are the pillars of TPM the first one is autonomous maintenance Kaizen plan maintenance quality maintenance training office TPM safety health and environment so we'll be looking on the all the all the aspects of the pillars of TPM in the very next video so thank you guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe my video and my channel Ravi Novet and please 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 be with us for more updated videos. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much.